Hey guys, this is the Fairy Vibrant Makeup Channel and I am going to do a makeup look for you, an eyeshadow look mostly. Um, I wanted to come on here and really show you how I incorporate two palettes that are my favorite palettes thus far. And um, the two palettes that I'm speaking about is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. That is the Modern Renaissance, which I actually repurchased. Um, I used my points and I was so excited to um, get one back because I did use my last one to, there was probably nothing left. So I did repurchase a new one and then I used it with my favorite subculture palette. So uh, the look I created for you today is using both of the uh, eyeshadow palettes. And I wanted to get something really warm, something very fall-esque, and I feel like I can achieve that with both of these. I've been wanting to use them together for the longest time, and since I finally got to repurchase the Modern Renaissance, I wanted to really incorporate that red. I do have a favorite red in the Lime Crime Venus, that's Venus too, whoops. <laughs> I do have a good red in the Venus One palette. Um, it's gorgeous, it's very luscious, it's beautiful cranberry color, but I don't, this isn't an all around palette that I usually like to reach for, so I don't really use it as often. Um, I feel like the Venus 2 is very lackluster for me. It's not my favorite palette, really. It's got fall colors, but it doesn't have those beautiful fall colors that I enjoy. Um, I actually really, really like the Subculture palette way better because it has more rich pigments, more rich colors. The only two colors that I don't like is Cube and Electric, and I've let you know my thoughts on this palette, and I'll link those down below. Some other uh, like second tries, uh, other tutorials that I did. Um, I really do love this palette though and I incorporated it with the Modern Renaissance just to see how they work together and they actually work really well. So yeah, so if you want to see how I created this beautiful fall-esque eye look, then just keep watching. First I'm going to start off with the Lorac um, Behind the Scenes Primer. Then I'm going to set my primer with Tempura from the Modern Renaissance palette. Then I'm going to be using a burnt orange in the crease. Then I'll pick up some of red ochre, which is a really pretty burnt red shade. And I will put this over top in the crease. just keep blending and blending and blending until it's all smooth. Then I'm going to go into the subculture palette and pick up Axis. And then I'm just going to add that to the outer corner. Notice that I did just press it into the palette. Um, that's what I did on one of my tutorials showing how to use the subculture palette. You just barely tap into it like very, very small. Then switching back to the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to get Red Ochre again. And then I'm just going to see if I can blend the edges. I mean, these are opposite shades in the spectrum of the color wheel, so it's kind of hard to get that perfect blend. Then I'm going to go into Burnt Orange, and I'm taking this tiniest little detail brush and kind of going over Red Ochre and just try to blend those colors together. Then I'll take Venetian Red and just press that in the inner corner of my eye, and I'm kind of doing Halo Eye. Then of course take uh, Burnt Orange with that detail brush and just kind of blend the edges. Then I'll go into Adorn in the Subculture palette, and I'm going to use my finger just to kind of press that in the middle of my eye between Venetian Red and um, Axis. So now I'm going back into Venetian Red and just kind of blending it towards the gold, and then going back into Axis and going to blend that towards the gold as well, as well as intensify what I had blent away. 
course, blending it out. And then I'm going to go into Tempura from the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone area. And then I'll go in with that brush, no additional product, that detail brush, and then just kind of blend it again. Alright, now I'm going to take in Modern Renaissance palette Re Real Gar, and I'm going to use that on my lower lash line. Then I'll take New Wave from the Subculture palette, and then I'm going to smoke it out. Then I'm going to use Primavera in the Modern Renaissance and pop it in my inner corner. This is my favorite inner corner shade, by the way. Then I'll take my Lord & Berry pencil, as you could tell, it's almost at its end, which I'm really sad because it's the only pencil that sticks in my waterline and my tight line. Then I'll take the tattoo liner from Kat Von D and then just create a wing. Then I'll use the Sills Booster from Lancome to prime my lashes. And then go over top with Grandiose Waterproof Formula from Lancome. And that's it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it helped you kind of, if you do have the Modern Renaissance and you weren't sure if you wanted to get the Subculture palette or not, to incorporate them both, it seems like it works really well and I think they blend beautifully together. So I wanted to show you guys how I achieved that with both palettes. I'm not saying go out and get the Subculture palette right away, but I, it is a lot tougher to use than the Modern Renaissance, I will tell you that. If you want me to do more of an in-depth comparison between the two, please let me know in the comments down below so that I can kind of break down how I feel each of them blend and what colors are close to the other colors and blendability and pigmentation so I can get really in depth with that. So yeah, um, I did enjoy using both the palettes together and I think that came out really nice and very fall-esque. Uh, made my brown eyes pop really nice so I am very impressed with them both together. I was dying to try them together and I finally said, you know what, I have enough points, I'm gonna get the modern renaissance again using my discount from ulta and my uh points i was so happy to get that again so yeah if you wanted to see any kind of like my two favorite combination palettes um i can pick two out of um my collection to put together um you've seen my palette collection anything new not really just my uh kat von d ones i can definitely do uh, the Kat Von D Shade and Light mini palettes on a separate video if you want to see how I incorporate th them all together or if um, you want me to see what look I create with four colors. But I kind of wanted to go into these guys maybe a little bit later, what the Naked Smoky looks like and what the heat looks like together. The heat I did purchase full price because um, we couldn't get our discount on it just because we wanted our customers to enjoy it first. And then the Naked Smoky I did get on sale and it's still on sale till September 30th. Um, at Ulta and I will incorporate those two if you want me to do a video on that. I do have another palette that I'm going to do a tutorial on the uh, person that subscribed to me uh, recommend or requested is the Nubian One palette and I'm going to do that uh, probably after probably next week when I film because I'm going to be filming once a week and I'm going to try and do as many as possible um, but yeah I'm going to do the Nubian one, I think, first before I start combining those. But yeah, those are just some ideas I'm throwing out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more videos um, using a lot of palettes, um, maybe some new product. I don't know yet. I don't go out and buy tons of products, so that's why I'm like kind of telling you that I'm not going to be able to review everything you want. Um, I'm a working mom. I love my job but i just can't do too much you know i gotta scale back just a bit so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video peace